I'm going to record a chord progression. I'll use the guitar and I'll use the guitar with a smart guitar. I've chosen E minor. Choices include either playing the chords across the top, notes, to play on the fret, touch the fret, to play an open string, touch the nut. You can also stretch notes or slide. Effects are at the top. You can also play chords or notes within a chord. Or autoplay. There's four patterns for each. touch and stop. So I'm going to record a pattern. After I've played with the chords, I've chosen E minor, A, E minor, D, E minor, A, B minor, and B, and back to E. I'm going to press record, and a quick tip, always touch your chords just before it counts all the way down. And play it back. Always remember and write down your bass, your chord progression. There is a spot in a notepad. Verse. Chord progression. E minor. A minor, E minor, D major, E minor, A minor, B minor, B minor, and B major. Now I can't forget the chord progression. I'm also going to try it now on bass. Um, let me try the auto accompaniment. Next. try this pattern.
done. Back to track view. You can pull open the track view to adjust volume for each individual track. Solo, so only that track is audible. Or mute, so you can't hear that track. And then grabbing the handle, bringing it back. And you can also adjust individual elements within a track. full view and done to remove it. You can also turn these effects on and off.